this is what I'm throwing right here. This is just a heavy wire stainless with a jig head. That's our egret jig head for weedless. It's real thin. As you can see, it's thin right there. And uh, it doesn't catch grass. And then we bend this to where this doesn't catch grass. And we use a real tough stainless wire. And we just put a thumper blade on there. And that comes through the water real good. Makes a lot of vibration. But a spinnerbait is extremely effective in marsh fishing. There he is. Got him right there. Well, that ain't a red. That's a trout. Now, that goes to show you. Now, look at that chunky trout. That goes to show you that uh, <laughs> you can plan all you want. And a lot of people don't think uh, trout to hit spinnerbaits, which is totally wrong, as you see. Uh, especially if you've got uh, and that's a that's a really fat trout. I want y'all to look at the, how fat that is. This is an extremely well-fed trout because it's short, but look at the width. This is a fat, fat, fat trout. So if there's trout back here, and again, they hit the spinnerbait, so don't be afraid to throw a spinnerbait for trouts and reds, especially if you're in a marsh area where there's a lot of fresh water, a lot of rain. So that's a really nice fat trout for that plate, for that bait right there. All right, we'll let her go. This is called our Bayou Spin right here, what I'm throwing. And it's an effective little tool. There he is again. There you go. What did I tell you about this bait? You know, Chris, I'm not sure that's not another big trout. I'll be dang, it's a trout, I think. Or a rat red. No, oh, it's a red. No, it's a trout. Look at that trout. My God, look at that. Look at the size of that trout. Look at that, Chris. Is that pretty? I'm going to lift him up. I don't want to lose him. Oh, that's a pretty trout. Oh, that's a nice trout. We are uh, getting a surprise of our life. We are um, trying for redfish. We're supposed to be redfishing. And we're catching these. Look at this beautiful chunky trout and we're catching trout on spinnerbaits so you can throw everything you thought you knew out the window about using spinnerbaits for redfish but we've caught several now on this bayou spin just using a thumper blade and I'm using black and chartreuse because this water is really really dark uh, but those are beautiful trout as a as I said spinnerbait I just switched colors I'm not sure why I mean, I just grabbed what was next in the box, and I put a just a straight glow chartreuse. The water cleared up a little bit, but uh, there's another one on the Bayou Spin with a wedge tail. And again, the wedge tail has vibration on the back, so your tail's making vibration and your blade's making vibration. That tail ticks like that. Just it's a swimming tail. And it's a patented tail. Another one, trout on spinnerbaits in the marsh. 